All right, so in this tutorial, we're going to make our own version of the comp.com uh, landing page. And we're gonna build this in card. And um, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you wanna do is create your card account and then hit new site. And card has a lot of different uh, templates that you can start with. Uh, and they are really useful later on, but for now, let's just start with a blank canvas because I want you to learn um, everything about card. And then once you learn how it works, it'll be easier for you to manipulate a template in the future if you want, or you can just build your own site from scratch like we're doing here. So we're gonna start from, uh, from nothing. So the first thing we wanna do is um, let's put a background image. Uh, so there'll be an image on the entire background. Um, so all you have to do is just click anywhere in the background, not here, this is the page. Uh, there's different sections, but let's click in the background and you can see this background opens up here. And you can see there's a, you can choose the color. So you can just change the color if you want. Or what we're gonna do is make this a, an image. So there's a gradient video, but we're gonna do an image. And you can upload or you can pick from a library. So let's upload our own. Um, go to unsp unsplash.com and then um, I just searched for mountain and you can pick whichever uh, whichever image is most calming to you, but um, I'm gonna try this one. I think this is a cool picture. So just download it. <clears throat> cool. And let's go to uh, our card website and let's upload and just upload your picture and then drag to the part of the, the, the picture you want to use. And awesome. So then if, um, if I go ahead and hit done, um, you can see now my whole background is uh, the image. Cool. All right, now let's add some um, text. So here you can see it already included a little text here that says nothing here yet. So let's change that to find your inner calm. And let's edit the style here. Let's increase the size. Let's make the color white. And then let's make the font. You can play around with this to whatever you want. I'm gonna make it Droid Sans. And let's see, there's no weight change here. But here you can change different, uh, you can play around with different stylings of your, of your text. For alignment, let's make this a left aligned. Cool. So go ahead and hit done. Um, one thing you can see, it's a little hard to read the white on uh, this background here, especially as it gets lighter. So let's go here and let's add an overlay. So you wanna click uh, anywhere in the background to pull up the background again, overlay, hit color. And under, you can see here, uh, it's that you have the, the image is, the color is black, but here's the transparency on the bottom horizontally. So you can make it less transparent or more transparent and less transparent. So we want it to be, maybe let's try right here, which makes this white text easier to read. Awesome. And now let's go click on this text, let's duplicate it, and then let's add more text here. Let's see what Calm does. Sleep more, stress less, live better. So let's copy that over and let's edit the size to be smaller. And let's hit done. And now let's click into this page because we want the page, right now it's in the middle of the screen, but we want this to be a little bit over to the left. So all we need to do on the width is let's make the width longer. So because this tech, this, um, text is aligned left, it's going to the left of the page. So here, as we made the page width wider, 
the text moved over to the left. And let's go ahead now and add uh, the logo. So go ahead here, press this add an element, and let's add an image. And you can go to Calm, and if you right click on their logo, it should save the image. And there we go, it'll save into your download so you can use it. And I'm just gonna drag this over. We want the whole image. And awesome. Let's go to style, let's make it smaller. And then let's see if we can make it maybe a little bit bigger. Cool. And now let's hit done, but now you can see it's in the center. So you can see, think of um, card as a series of boxes. So you have the background is the, the big box in the back. You have the page, which is the next inner box. And now you have text and components in the page. There can be, um, we can do one more um, box if we wanted. So you can have uh, components um, uh, in addition, which basically allows you to group the different um, uh, uh, internal components together. So, or sorry, containers um, uh, group the components together. So let's actually add a container here. Um, and then let's pull this te the text into it. That way now we have this container with the text in it, which I think is a better way to, um, to group things. And then under the image, so let's go to the, let's add another container for the logo. And then you just, all you have to do is drag the image into the container and then let's drag that container above. And now, so now you can see we have two containers, one with the image and one with the text. Um, but we still wanna position this, so we want this calm logo to be on the left. So we wanna to go to the page, which is where everything is being held. And you go to the down to contents and we want alignment to be left, not center. And there we go. Let's go ahead and make this logo a little smaller. Perfect. So let's add a button now. So we're gonna hit uh, the plus sign, um, this button component, and let's just hit done so you can see where it is right now, okay. Let's take this button and drag it into this container because here you can see there's some padding around the text and when the button was outside, it was um, not aligned. Um, so we're gonna just make this all a group. So now everything is cleanly aligned. Now let's click on the button, click on this paintbrush and now you can style it. So under background, maybe let's do kind of a light blue. Um, maybe a little darker than that. And then for hover, this is what's gonna happen when you hover over the button. Uh, I like to copy this background hex color, a hex number, uh, and then just you do the hashtag and then you paste it in and now let's just make it a little darker. So when people hover, it's gonna fade to, to a darker color. So you can see now it's gonna hover into the darker color. Um, let's make it a little wider and I'm taller and let's round the corners all the way and okay this is looking good and now let's go to back to the button element and if you click here then we can now change what the button says so let's have it say sign up here you could have um, any URL that you want um, it could go to a um, like a, a type form or Google form uh, to gauge interest. So you could have people click on it and then uh, say, we're not quite ready yet. We're um, collecting information uh, um, and we'll let you know as soon as we launch. Uh, so that's one example of the URL that you can do. We'll do more options later with a sign up form um, or a form that goes to a mailing list. So there's different ways that you can collect people's information. Uh, but for now, we're just gonna leave it at this URL. 
and um, we don't have to worry about any of this stuff. And let's just hit down. If you hit add, it'll add a second button, I believe. Yeah, but we just want to delete that second button. We want only want the sign up button. All right, so this looks pretty great. Um, let's see how this, uh, let's move this, okay. So this is looking pretty great right now. Let's look just at the kind of the column.com so you can see what we were start kind of looking at. So um, it's looking pretty good. Uh, one thing is this logo is a little bit too close to the Texan button. So you can see there's two containers here. Uh, so what we want to do is uh, click on this container, which has the text and the button. And here's padding. So what padding is, is that space uh, at the top and bottom, vertical padding, top and bottom, um, in between the contents and the outside, the inside uh, area of the container. So let's add this vertical padding. And what you can see, is so you can see it kind of expanding, right? Um, and as it expands, uh, it also expands the logo up to the top. So you can see now there's all this padding, the vertical padding, and now the logo's up at the top. Okay, so now let's go ahead and publish your website. So uh, it'll be live on the internet. Uh, let's go ahead and hit this uh, save button up here. Uh, the title, let's um, just call it meditation landing page. The description can be meditation rocks. And we'll use a card.co uh, URL. Uh, you can use your own custom domain if you, if you uh, pay for a card subscription, which is only uh, starts at $9 a year. So it's super cheap. Um, so we'll call it a card. We'll use the card URL and let's just call it meditationrocks.card.co and it's checking. It's available. And let's just hit publish.